Hey YouTube, it is Nicole here back in action. About time, right? <laughs> but man, I am back. I am ready to go. It's been so much news that's happened. It's crazy. So yes, I had a wonderful vacation. I thank you guys so much for your wonderful happy Mother's Day messages and well wishes to me and my family. Um, we went to Texas and had a great time. Saw all the family and friends and whatnot. And my son had a blast at his birthday party. Um, we held it at the little gym out in Lubbock, Texas. Um, and for those who don't know, Lubbock, Texas is where I was born. It's in West Texas. And um, a lot of my family on my mom's side of the family lives there. And I saw my grandmother who was looking great as usual. She's in her 80s now. So I felt it was important to continue to try to, you know, go out there and see her as much as I can with her, you know, getting up in age. And, you know, when our elders get up in age, you know, it's sad, but it's only like that matter of time. I hate even thinking like that. I want her to stay around forever and ever. But yeah, it was just great seeing everyone and then going back to Austin and seeing all my friends and whatnot. So it was a nice, nice break for us. So thank you guys so much. And yes. So now on to this. Aisha Tyler. Man, oh man. Um, as you guys remember, last year, her husband filed for divorce from her. And for whatever reason, they're not saying why they divorce, but for those who watch her on the talk or have seen her on there, I remember when I used to watch it before, it just became super annoying to me. And I felt like her and Cheryl were just cooning it up too much for me. She would talk about the struggles of conceiving with her husband here. And his name is Jeff. His last name I can never pronounce. It's like Tajet or something like that. But anyway, we'll call him Jeff. And she talked about the struggle and how hard they tried to have a kid and whatnot. And when it comes to that, I won't shit on her for that because I myself have been through that with me and uh, my spouse. We went through it and had losses before we had our miracle, miracle son, AJ. And I, I wonder if that was the breakup because that tends to happen a lot when couples are trying to conceive, they get frustrated, one couple, maybe one person wants it even more than the other and they can't take it and, and that tends to happen. And so when it comes to that, I'm not going to attack her when it comes to that. I know there may be some folks out there who want to, but I just feel like that's not my lane. I know how it feels. You want a child and it's just not happening, but anyway. But when it comes to how she's cooned it up on the talk and how she's, I'm sorry, in my opinion, has talked down about black men, when it comes to this divorce as a whole and the settlement and all that, I don't have much sympathy for her because she gets on the talk and she's the type that she won't be bombastic about it or, you know, just loud and crazy about it, but she does it on the sly. You have to really sit back and listen to her. She does it in a joking way, like it's only jokes. But through jokes, you are really trying to say something. I've always felt like that. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I never liked her when it came to, came to that kind of stuff. And then for those who remember, she got her, her big break on E-Soup. And I just remember how she was, just very just in my opinion, very whitewashed, very corny. And she was also one of the very few, if you blink, you'll miss it, black people on Friends. And she was on there. Um, I didn't watch the show, but I remember her talking about it. So she's always had, her audience has always been that, you know, very whitewashed type of, you know, thing. And hey, if that, if that gets makes her money and whatever, then... God bless you. But for me personally, she's she hasn't been that type to be like ride or die, black community, fighting white supremacy, not in the least bit. She's totally comfortable with it. She's that type. She's the useless type. And, you know, many people are like, well, hey, this is her karma for always, you know, cooning it up, bed winching it up out here on TV and whatnot. So for me personally, it doesn't make a, a lick of difference to me. I mean, this man, he's going to be getting reportedly $31,000 a month from her. And with no kids, okay? None. So, 
as she said last year, he's a wonderful person. He's a great person. And, you know, she just wanted to do this as privately as possible and whatnot. But you're on a show talking about folks' business every day. It's just such a contradiction. And then she's like, he's such a private person. And, you know, he just didn't want this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, if he's such a private person, why the hell would he be with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't even make sense. If he sees they've been together 25, she's saying 25 plus years since her college years. So he had to know if she's been working this hard and she's getting her break in Holly Weird. Come on. Really? And they say he's a lawyer. So I don't know what type of lawyer he is, but he must not be bringing in the bucks if she's having to pay him over $2 million. So to me, that just sounds like a come up. But she's all for it. So I can't get mad. That's This is what she wanted. This is what she asked for. So, hey, many people say this is her karma. I tend to agree. You know? So... I, like like I said, I, I, I do feel bad for her. I will say this when it comes to the trying to have children part, because I don't wish that on anybody, okay? I don't wish trying to have kids, and you, you can't on anybody. It's like lower than low. So, But I will say when it comes to the divorce and what's going on with her and her husband, you know, look at that. And I wonder if he left her for that reason. I seriously wonder if he left her because she couldn't have any kids for him. I truly wonder that if that just became such an issue that they couldn't take it anymore and he couldn't take it anymore. She couldn't bear him children. So he upped and bounced. And I, and I definitely want to see <laughs> for my own nosy opinion, if he's going to go find him someone else pretty quick and they'll be living off her money. <laughs> it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? So Aisha, I just wonder how you feel now? She'll probably try to save face and be like, oh, this is totally fine. This is okay. This is what I want. But in the back of her head, she's probably thinking like, really? Really? We know she's thinking it. Come on. I mean, just look at this. And it's one of the many reasons why many of these black celebrities, as I've said before, they just get no sympathy from me. Because they're comfortable being in the system. And for us to run to defend her, it's just not happening. But anyway, what do you guys think? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.